I think we're live. Welcome to Earth Live Lesson. I am today's instructor, Miss Mallory, the curious conservationist. And today we are doing fear to fascination, highlighting one of my favorite misfit creatures in the entire animal kingdom, the leech. Yes, I love them so much. I actually keep them in my house just so I can film them and look at it. Uh, oh, I can go on forever. I set my timer. We have 15 minutes to talk all about leeches and then I will be answering questions if you happen to have any. And we will be pulling some of these guys out for you to get an up close and personal experience. A little bit about myself. My name is Mallory Lindsay and I'm the creator of Miss Mallory Adventures, which is an online platform that teaches about animals and wildlife conservation and science communication through adventures and storytelling. It's an absolute passion of mine. I started because I myself was terrified of animals growing up and very insecure and intimidated by science and smart people. And so I decided to start following them into the field and overcoming my own fears through education. And so I've been doing that for about 10 years now absolutely love all the animals I meet and have also found a love for citizen science. If you guys don't know what that is, I highly recommend looking that up because it's a way for the entire community to be part of the bigger solution. And it's so great to all come together, help researchers find the solutions that we need to help our wildlife. So enough about me. Let's talk about the real stars of the segment, leeches. Now, even though there are between 700 and 1,000 species, depending on who you wanna ask, just a few of them are actually blood suckers. Many of them eat decaying vegetation, other worms, but today we are actually going to be covering the blood suckers because they are the ones that have helped humans the most. You're thinking a parasite that's helped humans? I don't think so. But believe me, when we are done, you are going to completely rethink the way you look at these blood sucking parasites. So leeches have been part of human medicine since the Egyptians. And unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, uh, they haven't had a very good reputation. And that's because we haven't used them the best way. Many of us think about leeches in medicine back during the bubonic plague, where they used to put leeches on sick people and thinking they would pull out the bad blood and leave the good blood. As we know, that is not the way that our circulatory system or the way that our immune system or viruses work. So that wasn't the best idea to use leeches. However, in modern science, they have been used in the most incredible way. They are able to do things that many surgeons can't. And they are used quite frequently in what we call microsurgery. And we'll give you an example, ready? Say you have, this is your finger, and you weren't very careful, and you chopped your finger off, oh my goodness. Well, doctors are able to suture and reattach that finger and reattach the skin and the tissues, no problem. But what they aren't able to do is reestablish all of those broken capillaries and blood vessels that were also detached. And this right here is called venous congestion. What happens is that when that blood is completely blocked, this tissue can no longer get precious oxygenated blood. And when it doesn't get that much needed blood, that tissue begins to die. It turns black, it starts stinking, and it's about to fall off. So to prevent that, surgeons will attach a leech to the tip of that finger. And the leech has some very secret sauce in their saliva. Not only do they have incredible sucking power, but the leech's saliva is able to prevent the blood from clotting. And instead of it stopping here, where all that congestion was, it starts pulling that blood and reestablishing all those capillaries back into that once separated tissue. So it's really incredible that humans really haven't been able to figure that out, but leeches 
have that special formula in their saliva that can constantly bring that blood back up to that tissue and reestablish all of those broken capillaries again. Ugh, I think that's just so fascinating. In addition to medicine, leeches have been really, really important tools in human research, in the way that we are learning about the way our body works. Um, for instance, in neuroscience, the way that our body communicates with each other is through neurons. And so in about in the 1930s, I want to say, two men won the Nobel Peace Prize for learning the way how our neurons communicate, and they do it through a chemical called acetylcholine. Now, it's very hard to study human neurons. <laughs> it's very, I'm loving the comments, thanks. Um, it's very hard to study neurons because they're deep inside our bodies, they're so small, and they're so fast. Well, what's really amazing about a leech's neuron is that even though it's a very simplistic system, they can do very complex things. And so their neurons actually are very similar to human neurons, but they're just much bigger and they're easier to get to. So the two people who won the Nobel Peace Prize actually owe it to the leech. They were able to study the leech's neurons to see how human neurons communicate, which is also pretty fascinating. Uh, another thing that they are able to do so many of us know about the dialysis machine, right? It's this machine that helps filter the blood when the kidneys can no longer. There's only one problem with that. When our blood leaves our body, it wants to clot, right? It's our, it's our body's natural defense mechanism to prevent our blood from leaking out completely every time that our skin gets damaged. So the way that they were able to get around that was by using none other than the leech. Again, that secret sauce in their saliva is an anticoagulant named herudin. And herudin is able to prevent that natural process from occurring. So by injecting herudin into the patients, they were able to pull the blood out of the body completely without it clotting through the machine and back inside. And then um, they are able to have clean blood again. Unfortunately, many of those patients did have a reaction since herudin is not um, a natural chemical found in mammalian bodies. So they were they switched it over to, it's called heparin now. And heparin is a natural anticoagulant that's found in dog livers. <laughs> so um, at least though that they were able to find a solution to get the Dallas machine to work and to save lives because of the blood sucking parasite, the leech. Now enough about humans, right? Let's see how leeches have been able to help other animals. I'm checking on my timer, how to put a timer, because literally I could probably talk about four hours just about leeches. So leeches have also been helping humans in conservation, which is awesome. So leeches are able to tell scientists or researchers what animals are in the area. And how do researchers do that? By testing their blood meals. Obviously, leeches suck blood of other animals, right? So instead of spending months and months and months looking at camera traps or searching for traps or just doing eye surveying, researchers can actually test the blood of leeches, compare that to the DNA of animals they're looking for, and hopefully see if they can see, um, compare the two and see if they can find that DNA of the animal that they're looking for in those blood meal of the leeches. That is just, gosh, so cool. I mean, not only does it save time, but it also saves money. It also saves uh, manpower. So it's really incredible how when we can think outside the box and kind of push past that, oh, it's just a leech. We can really see how important this creature is. Speaking of conservation though, we haven't really done our part for the conservation of leeches because we have been so dependent on them for uh, medicinal purposes and for research purposes, we over collected to the point of, of just, we collapsed so many populations of leeches and we weren't very mindful of their habitat. And I think this is a great example of what we do to many of our resources when it comes to nature. I mean, the leech, we think Ugh, it's, it's a parasite, but we also see how beneficial it has been 
in human history. So unfortunately, you know, we had some people that that saw past that and wanted to save the leech and helped with the conservation. Now we have laws and regulations implemented and now we're breeding them in captivity so we don't have to harvest them from the wild. But it's a great example of how we almost lost something that was so crucial to the development of of human research and learning and science. So I just think it's a great example of why we need to protect the animals that maybe we just don't know much about. Uh, but that is pretty close. Do you guys want to see them? <sighs> Let's see them. So now that we talked so much about how they help us, let's just talk a little bit about leeches. Let me get them a little wet. So leeches are part of the worm family and they are so cool. So they don't have lungs, they breathe their skin. This is also why with earthworms, it's so important that they stay wet. They have that mucus around their body that acts as a diffuser of gases. So the slime collects the air molecules, oxygen molecules from the atmosphere, from the air and transfer it through a very, very thin skin layer into their body, into the circulatory system. And on the flip side, they take that cellular respiratory waste and they pull it and push it through. Oh, that's such a good, so he's up and about. And you can see they have two, two suckers. They have the business end, right? They have the um, can leeches in the wild transfer viruses? What's great about them is really no. Um, what you have to worry about more so is the bacteria that will get into the wounds because your blood can't clot. Um, there's really no defense. And so you have to really worry about bacteria and pathogens getting into those sores, especially when you're in the jungle. But they are not like mosquitoes or ticks that can transfer really harmful diseases. So that's another reason why people get so upset about you know getting a leech on them. I'd be more worried about the mosquito or the tick. Uh, they have two, but they have two suction. They have an anchoring suction and then they have the mouth suction. And in their jaws, they have, or in their mouth parts, they have three jaws. Each jaw has about a hundred teeth. And if you've never seen a leech swim. It is the most hypnotic motion. Oh. <laughs> and as we're talking about their, their nervous system, again, even though it's a very simplistic nervous system, they can do very complex things. Um, they can move, they can swim, uh, they can lift up their bodies. All these are very complex. And also there is something about their, oh, so uh, researchers have also been studying them to learn about neurological regeneration. So the way that our bodies can, can heal itself. So usually when a person becomes paralyzed, unfortunately, their body can no longer communicate with different, their brain can't communicate with that part of the body. Well, if you paralyze a leech and prevent it to say swim, he can regenerate that con communication again. He can fix those neurons. So he's able to swim again within a couple of weeks. Completely amazing. Um, they've also been able to use different, um, tests on leeches as well to learn about Alzheimer's, to learn about how certain drugs work when it comes to neurological um, communication. So it's really fascinating. Oh, sorry guys. How did you get interested in leeches? I know, so I used to be so terrified of them. I had to go to the jungle one time and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get bit by a leech. This is gonna be my the worst experience ever. And I remember walking with a villager, the one that I was highlighting, and he found a leech on him and he's like, oh, great. And he picked, he takes the leech off of his foot and he puts it on his wound that he had on his hand. And I was like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, um, I'll put it on the wound and the wound will be gone in a week. And that right there was just like, mine exploded. I have to learn more about this. And that's how I got into biotherapy, which is the use of leeches in medicine. And also, if you guys are also interested in that, um, Maggots, uh, maggot therapy is so, so, so fascinating too. I highly recommend Googling that. It's called maggot debridement therapy, MG, uh, MDT. And um, you will be 
you will go down a rabbit hole for hours, I promise. Um, but that was the way I got into leeches and also many other animals that people are afraid of. They honestly have the best stories that it's almost like a treasure, you know, that not very many people know about. And once you uncover it, you're just like, oh, I got to know more. So, yeah. You see the way. So uh, they also have, are divided into 33 body parts and their brain works kind of weird. So their, their neurological system, uh, their nervous system is kind of divided into each one of those segments. And each one of those segments controls that part of the body. And so that's how researchers are also studying to see how they're regenerating those different things. And they don't come and hunt after you. That was one of my biggest, the myths that I was able to debunk was that I always thought that the leeches were just kind of lurking there waiting. They don't really, I don't want to say they hunt. They're very opportunistic feeders. So what they're going to do is they're going to get that suction cup, anchor down, lift up their head and just kind of uh, move or just kind of wait for something to pass by so they can jump on it, cling on, and then get their meal. You really don't feel them bite you uh, when they're bigger sometimes. Ah! We're almost done. I'm so sad to leave y'all. Uh, but uh, they'll wait and they'll eat, and you really don't feel them bite you. And they don't want you to feel them, right? They want to make sure that they can get a complete belly full before you feel them. And... So you don't really have to worry about them like draining your blood or it's just, it's so crazy some of the things that I hear about leeches because they really are incredibly fantastic. Um, if you guys have any other questions, you can please come visit me, um, Instagram, Facebook. I do live nature classes three times a week on Facebook currently. Instagram, I put up quizzes and then on my YouTube channel, I have a series called Weird Nature where we highlight animals like this uh, once a week and we kind of explore the weird side of nature that's just as fascinating as all the big megafauna, uh, but just doesn't get the, the credit or the attention that it, it deserves. So I think we are just about up. I want to say thank you so much again for joining me and giving me 20 minutes of your time to learn a little bit about how amazing these creatures are. Thank you guys very much and have a really wonderful day. Bye, everyone. <laughs>